So having introduced the concept of a limit, uh, we consider some example. Um, we consider this function f, the value of f maps x y to a value x square y plus e x y plus one. Okay, this is a uh, uh, two variables function. Ah. The, def the domain of the definition is R2. Uh, F is defined over the whole R2, uh, two dimensional Euclidean space, and the real value. Uh, the value of f, x, of f at the point xy is x square y plus e x y plus 1. Okay. Uh, I prefer to use the this manner to uh, define a function. I don't like uh, this one, although many people and uh, many book use this uh, uh, this uh, style to define the function. Why? Because I want to make some distinction between f and f x y. F is the function we are considered. Well, f x y should be uh, understood as a function, the value of the function f at the point x y. Okay. So there, there is some uh, uh, slightly difference uh, between these two notation. Uh, okay. Anyway, this is a function defined on R two. So if we want to compute the limit, x y goes to, for example, one two, f x y. Uh, is this uh, does this limit exist? If it exists. Uh, what's the value of this limit? Okay, so to study this problem, we let x k y k be a sequence in R two and converge to the point one two, converge to the point we are talking about. Then x k converge to one, y k converge to two. And our fx k y k, our fx k y k, which by definition is x k square y k plus exponential x k y k plus one. But uh, x k converge to one, y k converge to two. So by the property of converging sequence of real numbers we studied uh, in single variable calculus, okay, we see that. This converge to one square multiplied two, and uh, x k y k converging to uh, one two, the multiplication of one and two and then plus one. So this part converge to one two plus one. So the exponential ah uh, converge to the exponential of this. Okay, so. Uh, the right hand side of uh, this expression converge to 1 square 2 plus exponential 1 2 plus 1 which is 2 plus exponential of 3 okay so this is the limit uh, of this function okay so uh, so we see that the uh, uh, to compute a limit of a given function is not very difficult because uh, essentially this problem uh, is transferred to uh, the problem of uh, computing the sequence of real numbers and uh, what we have learned in single value cal calculus about sequence of real numbers can be applied okay so uh, next we will uh, study some property of uh, of a limit. Ah, this is the theorem. Suppose A is a subset of Rn, and uh, to, to discuss limit, uh, our point A should be a limit point of the set capital A. And our Fg, we have two functions defined on A, taking value in Rn. Another Euclidean space. And I suppose the limit of this two function are arrow and uh, 
k respectively. Of course, here L and K are elements in Rn. Okay. Then what, what can we say? Firstly, the linear combination of f and g, lambda fx plus mu gx, this is a new function uh, generated from the given two functions f and g, okay, uh, will be lambda l plus mu k, uh, will be the linear combination of the limits. Uh, here, lambda and uh, mu are real numbers. Okay, this is the first uh, conclusion. For the second, for the second, uh, we consider multiplication. So f and g are uh, vector valued functions. Uh, vectors uh, cannot uh, can only multiply. Uh, we can multiply the vectors uh, in the sense of a uh, scalar product. Okay, so fx, gx, the scalar product of fx and gx uh, is the limit of this new function uh, uh, obtained from taking scalar product of the given two functions f and g. Uh, so this is a new function. Uh, f and g are vector valued functions. After taking scalar product, this is a real valued function. Uh, okay, so the limit of this real valued function is the limit of is the scalar product of their limit. Okay, so this is the uh, scalar product or inner product. Okay. How about uh, how about division? Uh, to divide uh, two vector, we, we we have no idea how to divide uh, two vector. But uh, when 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 n equal to one, then f and g are real valued. We can consider f x divided by g x. Uh, this is a new function. Okay, so so. When n equal to 1, we can talk about fx divided by gx. Ah, this expression makes sense only for the case n equal to 1. If n is greater than 1, this will make, make no sense. Okay, But once n equal to 1, we can talk about the, whether this limit exists. If it, it, it exists, what's the limit? Okay, So this will be equal to L divided by k. Of course, we need to assume that k is not zero. Okay, so these three uh, fact is the uh, are the uh, basic property of a limit. Okay, and the proof is also uh, not difficult. For example, we prove the second statement. Proof of the second one. Uh, we take xk a sequence in a minus this point okay <clears throat> take xk in this set xk converge to a by definition uh, we have fxk converge to l and gxk converge to k this is uh, due to our assumption here ah the limit of fx and gx are l and k respectively. Okay, so this means uh, for any such sequence converging to a, uh, the corresponding sequence of the functional value f f fxk and gxk will converge to l and k respectively. So uh, when we study uh, Euclidean space and the convergence of a sequence in Euclidean space, we know that from this tool, uh, convergence of uh, sequence in Rm, uh, this, this are sequence in Rm, this is also sequence in Rm. From this two, by the, our previous result, we see that fxk, the, the scalar product of fxk 
and GXK converge to the scalar product of L and K. So this proves that for any sequence in this set converging to the point of small a, uh, the functional value of the scalar product function along this sequence converge to the scalar product of their limits. Okay, so this proved uh, that this result is true. Okay, so this is an illustration of how to prove a result like this. Uh, okay, of course, uh, it is also interesting to study uh, composition of a limit. Uh, composition of limit. A limit of a composition. Limit of composition. Okay, so what's composition? Uh, we have encountered this concept uh, many times. Okay, so A uh, map to Rn, and uh, there is a subset uh, G map to R. A is a subset of Rn. Okay. G is defined maybe on some U. U is a subset of Rn. So if F A, uh, uh, how to say? No. Assume F is defined over A and then take a value in Rm, G is defined over U, take a value in R. Rk maybe. Okay? So if the image of F is contained in the domain of definition of G, then we can define the, the composition of these two maps, which is a map from A to Rk. Okay, so this is the composition. Okay, so a natural question is, suppose A is a limit point of capital A, and the limit uh, uh, x com goes to a f x is some um, something maybe p and uh, similarly y goes to p g y uh, is some q of course to to write this to write this, we need to assume that P is a limit point of U. Okay, uh, you can you, you you can you can impose the necessary uh, assumption you need. Okay, so a natural question is, how about this limit? Is this equal to exist and equal to Q? This is a question. Ah, uh, uh, I I remind you that this might not be true. Uh, in most cases, it is true, but not for all cases. Ah, uh, so I suggest you to study this problem. Ah, uh, to draw your conclusion and prove it. Okay, I will not spend time here.